Welcome to the exciting PowerPoint professional slide making tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome PowerPoint template in this tutorial. Stay tuned. I'm Sadhu Sadi and I'm using PowerPoint 2013 for this tutorial. And let's get started. So first, I'm going to drag over all of this. Then I'll hit delete to get rid of this. Done. We have a blank slide. Then I'll go to insert. Then I'll go to pictures and I'll pick this picture and double click on it. I have this picture. If you want to download this exact picture, the link is in the description. You can download it from the below description. Then I'll stretch it like this and I'll stretch it like this. Done. Simple stuff, right? All right. Now I'll press Ctrl D on my keyboard to duplicate it. Done. I have a duplicate of it. Then what I will do is click on the back image, which is in the back and go to format, then color and I'll make it black and white, just like that. Then what I will do is pick the colorful image and put it right on top of the black and white image, like that. Now leave it like that. Now we will go to insert, go to pictures and I'll pick this laptop icon. Double click on it and I'll have this laptop picture. You can download the exact laptop PNG from the link description. And I'll put it right over here. And with this bar over here, you can zoom in and zoom out. So I'm going to zoom in a bit, just like that. And it looks cool. All right. Now, if I click on this slideshow, I can see where the slide is and where the laptop is and how it fits in the screen. So I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to hit escape. Then I'm back to my slide. I'll click on the colorful image. Then I'll go to format. Next step, I'll go to this crop option over here in the below and hit it and go to crop to shape and rectangle. Then I'll click on this crop and I'll have something like this. With this black text on the outer side, I'll minimize it and put it right over here so that it fits exactly on the laptop screen. All right, perfect. And I'll hit on this icon again to crop it. Then you cannot see the image because it's below the laptop. So what I will do is click on the laptop, then holding down control, I'll click on the black and white image and then I'll right click on it. Then I'll bring, not bring, I'll send them to back. And I'll have something like this. So as you can see, it creates a brighter image of the back image. So it's a quite nice effect if you think of it. All right, so basically we're almost done with our presentation. Now, I'll go to insert and get some text to get it rolling. So, I'll create some text. Professional, which it is. Professional slide making tutorial. So, as you can see, it was the thumbnail of the video, which I'm creating right now. Alright, now what I'm going to do is press Ctrl D to duplicate it and duplicate it one more time and put it right over here and I'll divide each of the words so I'm going to drag over all of this slide making tutorial and delete it I'm going to drag over this too and delete it and drag over professional and tutorial to get rid of this so I'm left with three words just like that then what I will do is first I'll go to this font option in the home section and I'll change the font to Avon G Bold. You can download the font from the link description. So there you have it, professional slide making tutorial. Then what I will do is drag over all of these three. Then I'll align them to left. Then go to format, go to align and align them to left again. And we have a great sequence. All right, now I'll increase the font size a bit by increasing it like that. All right, done. And put it right over here. Now, what I will do is just equidistance all of them, done, or you can do them going to format, going to align, and distributing them horizontally, just like that. Alright, now, here's the thing, you cannot see the tutorial exactly like it is, because there's no contrast in it, so we're going to have to create a contrast. So what I will do is go to insert, go to shapes, and pick this shape, parallelogram, and drag like that. Why did I choose it? Because the text align are like that, so it's going to create a great effect. So I'm going to drag over like that. Then what I will do 
is holding down control I'll click on the back black and white image right click on the both of them and send it back done then what I'll do is click on the box go to shape outline and click on no outline so the outlines will disappear and go to shape fill and if you notice that this color has orangish greenish tint colors so I'll go to more fill colors go to standard and I'll click on this color and hit OK so I have this color and I'll go to this option over here which says format shape and I'll click on it and a window will pop up like this I'll go to transparency and increase the transparency a bit like this 30 done so we have got our background now what I will do is just drag over the text and I'll change the text fill to white now it looks cool right <laughs> okay now what I will do is create an amazing effect so to do that I'll click on the black back and white image and press ctrl D to duplicate it done then there's a tricky part I want you to pay some attention right over here go to format go to crop and crop it just this building just this building just this specific building why am I doing that because this building is overlaying this shape and if I put it right over here this looks like something like this all right now we're gonna do something about it to make it a very cool thing now I'll click on this and go to format and go to remove background which is available in PowerPoint 2013 and click on it and you have something like this the PC will delete the purple things and only keep the original part so I'm gonna drag it a top so the building is included then what I need to do is that if you can see closely these parts are not inserted so I'll go to mark areas to keep and mark them to keep just drag over it and drag over it and drag over it and as you can see we don't need this part so I'll click mark areas to remove and drag over this part to remove it done it was smooth and for the last part I'll keep this part and I'll get removed of these parts it might take a while but you need to make it very nice perfect all right when I'm done I'll just hit keep changes and I'll have something like this and if I zoom out you can see it is creating an illusion that the shape is behind the building so we're done with our tutorial I'm gonna click on this press ctrl D to duplicate it put it right over here Holding down control, I'll click on the black and white image, right click and send them to back so that it creates a symmetry of the color and we're done with our tutorial. And if I hit the slideshow, you will see our slide is ready. Thanks for watching the entire tutorial. You will have the download links to every resource in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new to this channel and don't forget to share with your friends and colleagues who might find this YouTube channel useful. Thanks for watching the tutorial and if you have any queries or any requests, you can contact me on my Facebook account which is PowerPoint Pro or contact me directly on my Facebook which is Salman Sadi. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Create something awesome today. PowerPoint Pro signing out.